Hello everyone, my name is Sunanta Pavadi from Laos. I am a third year PhD candidate from Otvers Lowlands University, Budapest, Hungary. Today I'm going to present about solely collected learning under the review of the motivated strategies for learning questionnaire or MSLQ instrument and its reliability in Hungarian version. This is my topic for today. So uh, the focus point is the salary quality learning because it's very important for the learner in the in terms of the cognition, metacognition and the motivation. And this is the ongoing project for this paper that I am uh, doing the pilot project for testing the validity and reliability of the instrument for the use in the doctoral project. So the instrument that I am going to talk about is the MSLQ, that motiva motivation strategy for learning questionnaire, which developed it by Paul Prentice and his college. That is uh, uh, for today's presentation. For the methodology of this study, in terms of the population and the sampling is is it that from the JSAI University in Slovakia uh, and uh, the faculty is the faculty of the pedagogy and uh, the university has the Hungarian language as the in, uh, instructional language this, which is majority provide for the Hungarian minority students who live in the sharing border of Hungary and Slovakia uh, so that is for the Hungarian minority who lives there and the population has uh, um, for the, the sampling for this pilot project has 42 with 40 of females because of the, uh, the kindergarten uh, course so there is only two male in, in the course and the average age is means uh, is 21.29 and the standard deviation is 2.371 and the data collection instrument has two parts the first one is theory and another is the empirical uh, research with the theory uh, is uh, the review literature of the 20 to 30 works regarding to the cell quality learning especially the use of MSLQ instrument and the uh, in pre uh, part is uh, the Comeback arm file it, 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 uh, was used for the testing and describe uh, the descriptive statistic is also used for testing the reliabilities of the instrument. Uh, the social cognitive theory, first of all, we are talking about the social cognitive theory that is a uh, the theory developed by Bandula, Albert Bandula, American psychologist, that he developed this theory in 19, 1989, that he focused on the human behavior, learning behavior change, observation, and experience. And so uh, they, it has uh, three components in the social cognitive theory. Uh, first one is observational learning, cell regulation, and cell efficacy. In this theory, obviously, show the learning mostly from the observing or the behavior, then then the imitating the behavior as we as we can notice in our society. Young people like to follow their idol, for instance, like dancing. Uh, the characteristic, the styles, and the behaviors. So in in these three components, it obviously show about the cell regulations as one of the TLE according to the Albert Bandula, and also show about the uh, reciprocal determinism model that is the key concept of the social cognitive TLEs. So now we are going to the cell regulated learning. In the cell equated learning, there are so many TLE regarding this term, and uh, the the one important uh, one important is the linking 
with the use of the metacognition and the motivation that is of Mm, according to Burkert and Cornell in 2005, and this is the way of learners monitor and control their cognition, their motivation, and their behavior. And according to uh, according to the Pandero, uh, Panadero, uh, the cognitive, the behaviors, and the emotion which is directly impact to the learnings of the individuals. And based on the social cognitive. Uh, from Thierry from Bandula, uh, the perspective of the social cognitive is the solely collected learning that is includes cell observation, cell junction, and cell reaction. So why cell reaction is important to the learner is it's because it's not just that they have a motivation to participate in any activities in the classroom, but they can manage and control themselves to work independently at home or in outside outside the school or insti institution. It can help them to develop their understanding and many necessary skills, uh, leading to a good result in their learning performance. So now we are going to talk about the MSLQ's instrument and its importance. It's important here in, in another side. So uh, the MSLQ or Motivated Strategy for Learning Questionnaire uh, developed it by two professors. The first, uh, first one is uh, uh, Professor Paul Printis and the second is Professor Bill uh, McCarling. The, these two professors uh, in uh, they are from the University of Mexicans, and for the project, examining uh, the student motivation and the learning strategy in 1980s, the instrument based on printed solicited learning model, and uh, in this study, they use MSLQ for measuring student solicited learning. It related to the cognition, metacognition, and motivation skill. And the manual for the use starts from 1991 uh, by Paul Pintis and uh, his college. But the instrument was developed before, earlier, uh, the manual one year by Pintis and they group. However, the MSLQ has been developed in 1982. So it is unofficially. Uh, and it is in 1986 officially by the organization name, the National Center for Research on Improving uh, Post-Secondary Teaching and Learning. That is the organization uh, who support uh, for these two. And they, ha they have two parts in this instrument, which include for total is 81 items. And uh, first part start from item one to item third uh, T1. This is the motivation part, and the second is learning strategy. Start from 32 until 81. So this instrument is the most used in cell related learning tools and cell efficacy assessment. Also, it classif classifies as the aptitude measure of cell related learning, and it helps students in improving the learning ability because it reflects to the student learning. The impact of cell related learning in the student learning, it's so many impacts, uh, especially is in the motivation uh, terms, which is in intrinsic motivation and the personal responsibilities in that it can make the student uh, in the successful in their academic performance. And also it related to the, the skill of cognition, metacognition, behavior, motivation, and emotion. This is the so many uh, impact of the solicited learning in terms of the student learning. So the data analysis, according to my study, this is the descriptive uh, statistic that used in this study. And uh, this is to test the means, to measure the means and the standard deviations of the A group of the respondents uh, uh, and the subscale. There are two parts. 
the part one has six subscale uh, and nine subscale in part two. Part one is related to the motivation, and uh, the second part is related to the uh, uh, strategy, the uh, learning strategy. So in total, have fifteen subscale. The first table is uh, for the the descriptive analysis, which is uh, 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 overall of mean and, and the standard deviation and uh, in here if it uh, based on the linger scale start from 1 to 7 1 is not true at all and the 7 is completely true and in the overall of the MSLQ in Hungarian versions for the first of 81 uh, items uh, the means is 5.02 and standard deviation is 1.6 and the highest uh, subscale is L, uh, CLB from the first part CLB from the first part this is control of learning belief this is uh, 5.76 and standard deviation is 1.06 and the lowest is from ER is effort regulation from part B is 3.99 and 1.72. So, and the second uh, table is about the reliability of MSLQ in Hungarian version compared with the printed et al. in 1991. And that is uh, to compare the comeback alpha of each subscale. And in Part 1 has a 0 0.82 in the total and part 2 is a 0 0.86 and the highest is in the part 1 in SELP uh, in cell efficiency, efficiency for learning and performance in 0 0.83 and the, the lowest is um, in HSL health seeking uh, minus 0 0.37 in in this health seeking uh, it's considered as the ELO score and in here is still uh, some uh, uh, some some highlight here that is not, uh, under 0 0.5 so it can may it may consider as a uh, uh, it can be dropping some of some items in here so in the conclusion, the cell quality learning is the new term that relates to the metacognition, cell regulation. Uh, it is an application of both metacognition and cell regulation. In contrast, cell regulation concerns the environment interactions and keeping, monitoring and controlling how behaviors and emotion works and metacognition deal with the monitoring and controlling the process of thought. And uh, for the, the MSLQ, even though cell report measurement, uh, this cell report measurement MSLQ does not get the dynamic cell regulated learning behavior idealistic, uh, but it plays an outstanding role in the group different measurements. There's so many subscale there. And in the discussion, uh, the results of the study for the reliability test dedicated for the Hungarian version to prepare for the future doctoral uh, research on the Hungarian minority regarding cell quality learning, metacognition, and the motivation. And the MSLQ in Hungarian version in, in this paper is the ability test to find a readable instrument that fit with sample in this context. And the comeback alpha of the two part of the instrument in uh, is this uh, List out in positively, part one motivation is as sure as 0 0.82, and the part two is uh, in the learning strategy is 0 0.86. However, the unacceptable score in four subscale uh, that found from the second table uh, that is one is TSE, one is ER, one is CT, and the, another, the last one is IGO. Uh, this in this point, it's necessary to drop or to modify some item in each 
unacceptable subscale will be considered for the future research.